Greetings Mac Warriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mac Warrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Blackjack 1 DC, a beautiful, beautiful Mac that has a lot of nice quirks and we're playing it with an AC2 and a medium laser configuration. Let's go ahead and have a look at the build right now. As you can see we're running AC2s in the arms as well as six medium lasers as quote unquote backup weapons whenever enemy targets get closer to us so that we can unleash our full alpha strike firepower of 34 damage. All of that is powered by an XL engine 200 so be sure to take care of those side torsos and the speed is quite low on this build it's only 77.4 kph but guys you are not meant to be a fast moving running around dart around guy you are a mobile weapons platform that just finds a good position and then amplifies damage on enemy targets and this build does that very very well four tons of ammo should be plenty but if you find that you just need three then you can add another heatsink for example or a slightly bigger engine whatever strikes your fancy now the quirks in this thing are also amazing you got 20 percent ballistics cooldown you got five percent ballistics heat 10 percent range then a 10% flat heat and a 10% flat range and 10% laser duration. And on top of that, also armor on the CT, left torso, right torso, as well as the legs. And with the skill tree together, look at this armor, guys. This is nice. 50 armor on the legs, 58 on the torsos, and uh, 73 on the CT with 37 structure. So for a 45 ton mech, this is actually quite nice. Let's have a look at the skill tree, guys. And this is what I came up with. Basically, what we're using is magazine capacity 1 and 2, as well as all the laser duration nodes, so that we can support our uh, build as best as possible. If you have 6 medium lasers, then you definitely should have the laser duration nodes 1 through 4. Then we go into the survival tree, and we take the full survival tree, except the AMS overload and one node of skeletal density. Uh, that one node just because I didn't have it anywhere else, and I just had to get it somewhere. Then we go into mobility, we just add a little bit more movement speed to make the mech a little bit more nimble. Um, full speed tweak, of course, so that we can offset our low engine a little bit. And then we just go into auxiliary, double airstrike or artist strike and double cool shot. You can, of course, substitute the double artist strike for UAV, for example. If you want to, that is all up to your own preference. Well, time to take this thing into the dropship and see how it performs. Alrighty guys, here we are in our blackjack on Rubylite Oasis and I'm getting stuck on Ruby, so Rubylite or whatever that red stuff is, but that doesn't matter. We are going to look for a target here, for example that linebacker and give him a full alpha strike and then duck her in with the AC2s. Now during this match you will see that my AC2 accuracy sometimes isn't the best, but uh, I'm just getting used to the mech and I normally don't use AC2s as much, so please bear with me. Now I'm just trying to find enemy targets now in the Delta 6 area, that's why I put down the artillery strike low ground so that basically uh, I have a chance of hitting them uh, if they're up top but unfortunately the RD strike went wild and we missed. That's okay though because we still have a very good position on the enemy and we can shoot them quite a bit from down here and we do have the range to actually engage this marauder perfectly at 300 meters with our AC2s and then we just keep on firing them and add up the medium lasers for extra damage whenever we can and we have a good range on the enemy. Okay, nice. So the enemy team is moving from Delta 6 to Delta 5. They are just concentrating there. Um, our assaults are sitting in Fox 6, Fox 5. Um, so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm turning into an assault mech that assaults an enemy broadside. Hopefully it doesn't get shot by him, but he does have streaks and gauss rifles. Uh, gauss rifles are scary. Yep, and hit my right arm for whatever reason. Okay, so we just lost one medium laser. Um, poor guy, poor guy. Plus, I have to pay respects, guys. Uh, that's okay, though. Because the enemy team is moving into a area where they can't really move that much. They are basically constricting themselves to that Delta 6 ridge line, and um, if our team is smart, then they will be able just keeping them there. They will just be able to keep them there and uh, do a lot of damage to them and potentially even bend the match outright. I'm trying to hit the enemy target over there, target Gulf, but uh, unfortunately, uh, these good old invisible walls make things a little bit tricky here But uh, there's still no reason for me to switch my position because the enemy team is not pushing aggressively into Delta 5 right now And uh, that means I can keep this side spot here and I can just keep shooting away at the enemy while my team is pressuring them from below and since the enemy team is now more moved towards the left side of the top area, uh, that means I have to reposition now and just follow up with the rest of the team and try and amplify damage there. The Corsair broadside, for example, is already opened up quite nicely and should be taken down by the team any second now. Uh, enemy team is in the lead though, one kill lead at this point in time, so we, uh, we need to make sure we pick up the slack here somehow. Uh, don't see many targets yet though. 
And again, guys, we need to be careful. We are just a 45 tonner. We cannot go ahead and lead the push like a big assault mech. Um, that is up to the big assault mechs. For example, that Warhammer 2C who is pushing in right now and pushing back again, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and shoot any targets that present themselves. Uh, I can't help on the left side right now because the Whammy is in the way. But we can help out with that urban mech, for example. Uh, who's jump jetting into us and then dropping an artillery strike or airstrike. Uh, careful. Don't burn your teammates, guys. If you're a second liner, always be very careful with your shots so you don't hit your teammates by accident. That can easily call them out from behind. Especially if they're running low back armor like me. Let's see, Charlie is still pushing on the side. He might be dropping though. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to Charlie and help out our Warhammer that for some reason still hasn't killed this guy. So, let's go ahead and do some damage to Charlie. His side torso should pop any second, actually. One more hit should do it. Come on. Okay, we took away the side torso, which means his lasers are gone. He just has some heavy machine guns right now, which is still not good for us, but at least <laughs> we're still alive. I think there's also Commander running around right now with stealth. Oh, there we go. We killed the Doom Giver. Haha, <laughs> we gave Doom to the Doom Giver. Poetic justice is all that is to be in the game sometimes. But okay, so five kills under eight. The enemy team is leading by three right now, which does not hold well for me. And we've got a Mistlinx jumping at us. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see. I see your Daka and I raise you six medium lasers. It just dropped the UAV as well, so we just backpedal a little bit. I don't want to get lured to hell here. Um, oh, there he is again. So guys, as you can see, it's important for you, if you are playing this mech, to actually um, have a little bit of space to left and right. You're not that wide, uh, you're just a 45 tonner, but you're wide enough so that you need to make sure that you clear the area left and right a little bit so that your AC2s don't get stuck. There we go. Helped out on the health spawn, he is finally dead. Seven kills under eight, so one kill ahead by the enemy team right now, and whoop, there we go. There is our friend from before again, and we take him down through the back. Still one kill down though, unfortunately. Uh, make that two. Okay, yeah, the enemy team is pushing in now. That is an enforcer pushing in on my buddy, and he's got friends as well. So uh, this might be our last stand. Let's go ahead and try and do as much damage as possible. But uh, yeah, that's definitely enough, and I'm overheating right now. So we need to move to cover. We definitely need to move to cover. Uh, I almost grilled my own right torso away. Uh, and I know the enemy team is pushing in from the ramp in Delta 6. So let's go around the corner and uh, try to deal a little bit more damage before we inevitably fall here because I can't deal with uh, the linebacker plus the catapult plus the enforcer so uh, let's go around the corner here and bring our last hurrah and we finally fall okay well we die but that was not a bad round uh, let's go ahead and have a look at how the rest of the round develops we still have one black lenner left and but he only has three ER micros well the thing is the catapult is CT cord uh, he is one touch to death and the Black Lanner should actually have a chance to kill him if he plays his cards right and uh, goes for the right target. But I hope you guys could see the playstyle of this Blackjack. Again, as I said, guys, you want to go for second line and you want to make sure that you don't expose yourself uh, too much. You can take a little bit of fire, especially on the CT. It has nice armor for a mech this weight class, but just don't overdo it, guys, okay? Okay, there we go. Um, he sees the catapult, he sees CT open, and he knows he has to touch him just once. Catapult? Touch the catapult? Touch him? No? Nope. Okay. There is going to be no more touching. He's dead. Sad face. And he even folds over. Okay. Well, at least we got a nice shot of a smoking enforcer standing there victorious in the smoke. Okay. Oh, well, that was a nice round, guys. If you like this type of content, check out my Patreon page and become an active supporter of the channel. Two killing blows, six assists, one solo kill, three KMDDs, and 922 damage done in the blackjack. I would say that was a very, very solid round, guys. And uh, it goes to show you how nice this mech actually is and how much firepower it has. Yes, your trading speed. Yes, your trading armor for um, being able to run that much firepower on a mech that small. But you know what? It's working, and if it's working, that is perfect. All right, switching over to Frozen City Night to the beautiful Aurora Borealis in the sky, and we are going to move towards Bravo Force support our assault mechs in their fight against that Brawler Victor. Now, again, guys, we want to take a second line position that has a high ground advantage somewhere. 
and then we will just go ahead and shoot at targets of opportunity as much as possible um, which mm -hmm. can be tricky sometimes because if the enemy team is good at using cover then uh, you might have a problem Target now this build actually guys also very strong. important um, it is doing damage over Target time spotted. and you need to have a lot of face time to do damage so uh, this is not the like build with let's say gauze rifles where you just expose quickly shoot and then get back to cover no no you have to be on target and you have to keep shooting speaking about keeping shooting there's a nova coming in there's also a rifleman over there but it doesn't matter anything we can see we just shoot with our ac2s and we have enough ammo to do so guys you can easily shoot a little bit of ammo into the ground and not worry about it because it's just ac2 ammo if it if it doesn't hit well doesn't matter you just try again and by the way talking about hitting i just took a big shot to the ct 89 percent of my mech acquired. left at this point but that's okay we're just gonna go ahead and respond in kind guys if you're not moving and not shooting you're doing something wrong so right now i'm moving and not shooting so let's stop that and remedy that by shooting something for example the rifleman again dropping Our the artillery strike on his face activity. and now we might be able to get in on the cyclops his side torso is open uh, but he's not exposing himself to me right now so i want to hit him but i can't the artillery strike does one hit though well at least one there's a dire wolf also with lb2's flamer and tag okay Okay, that's apparently new meta. That's alright. If I see him, I will kill it before it spawns. So, let's go ahead and shoot the King Crab a little bit. Holy hell, the rocket launches, you act tens him. <laughs> I don't want to face tag this guy. Uh, that would be brutal. Um, unfortunately, he's moving to, in my direction. And the enemy team is leading four kills over one at this point. So, um, this is already looking like it might not be a winnable situation unless the team starts to pull out miracle kills now. But that's okay. We're going to go in on the Dire Wolf. Uh, there's a guy of us that just shut down or disconnected in the middle of the fight okay yeah i can't shoot the dire wolf because of it can you please disconnect somewhere else mate <laughs> i know the dire wolf side torso is almost acquired. gone there's a nova coming in he is city red which should mean city dead any second come on will you die already there we go oh and there's the king crab we were talking about uh back to cover back to cover i'm not really here I do not even exist. I do not even exist. Let's see if he goes for a different target. And if he does, then we go in on him, of course, immediately. There we go. And to our right, there's the Dire Whale again. I know his side torso is open. Oh, it's actually gone now. Teammate has actually taken it away. So we go for the other side torso. And uh, let's demonstrate how tanky a Dire Wolf actually is. We massage the side torso a little bit. And uh, now we go for the kill because it is three kills for us. Ten kills for the enemy team. This is my last stand. And I want that Dire Whale. So I'm just face tanking him right now just to get the kill. And I do. Beautiful. Okay guys, uh, it is 4 kills under 11, the enemy team just has to murder one more of my teammates and that is going to be all she said. The champion falls, our final champion falls, GG, well played, let's get ahead and have a look at the scoreboard to see how we did, but again I would say that was a solid round for uh, the uh, one-sided match that it was. Two killing blows, one assist, one solo kill, one KMDD, five components destroyed, and almost 700 damage done in a 4 minute match, which makes this the best performing little blackjack in the match <laughs> because there was only one get it okay guys hope you enjoyed this content see you next time ttb out